Hello, it is March 24th, 2018. Oddly enough, my grandson and some of his friends decided to go to Myrtle Beach this week. We live in Wisconsin. Um, this is the National Weather Service. I'm going to click on home where we can see the whole country. And I have the map on alerts. And this is the odd thing. <laughs> because they're driving from right here where the arrow is to down through here. So technically there seems to be this storm going on. Now they left at about 3 o'clock in the morning last night. And so a lot of this was up here closer to us. And they were leaving and it just so happens that it's going right through where they're driving. <laughs> You know, wouldn't you, um, sometimes it's just like, wouldn't you know that things like that happen? But luckily, living in Wisconsin, it was expected snow in this area. Look at that. And where they're going is down into here. But living in Wisconsin, we luckily know how to drive a little bit better in the snow than some people. Isn't that a weird looking thing right there, developing? So they've made it down to the Smoky Mountains at this point. So they're right down around in here somewhere, heading to here. This is a map just to let me know where the great and crowded Smoky Mountains Park is. With some pictures, I've got the link for this below. This is a partial picture of the Appalachian range. It goes into Canada. This uh, map is to Georgia. This link says the Appalachians are a complex mix of mountains formed by a series of continental collisions that took place over a period of more than a billion years. And then this whole thing it says um, focuses on important mo mountain building, landscape altering milestones in the history of Northern Appalachians and New England, as far as they know or are willing to tell us. These are a couple of the pictures of what they believe, some people believe. <laughs> Interesting. And then filling up with sediment. So there's a quite extensive assumed history on this web page if you're interested in looking. It's done pretty simply and the pictures are really easy to understand. And then I just wanted to throw in something quick about the who used to live there. <laughs> and so I found encyclopedia.com and um what they say in here, I'm just going to move down, is uh, a diverse population of Native Americans has lived in the mountain south for around 3,000 years. Now, I believe that that has been proven totally wrong, and it's way off. The Iroquois, who were the dominant group in the region, came from the west around 1300. BCE and split into the Northern Iroquois and the Southern Cherokee. The Cherokee were farmers and hunters who lived in small independent villages. And then it talks about how the Europeans came in and basically after some struggle um, really came into the area in the 1700s. Um, but this makes it, I'm just going to say, this makes it seem like, well, it's really not that big of a deal because the Indians weren't there that long anyway. There was something like that. I just don't like that. But I just thought I'd throw it in because it's what kids learn in school. Encyclopedia.com. So now that I started looking at the Appalachian Mountains, I could get carried away into this whole video of all sorts of stuff, such as this. Giant meteor found to have struck Appalachia. It's saying some 200 to 300 million years.
here, so yeah. Um, down here, the, the eastern Kentucky town of Mid Middlesboro, as a planetary scientist now tell us, is a geological four-mile-wide crater resulting from an asteroid impact. Hmm. This isn't really a great picture. Um, the town of Middlesboro, Kentucky. So you can see there's like a circle area. Well, you can't really see that. And a mountain. <laughs> This is a better picture. Middle, Middlesboro Impact Crater, Kentucky. So this is the area here. Ta-da! Another interesting thing to me is the Giants of Appalachia. It says that... That's my granddaughter. She's sitting next to me. She decided to join me to help me make this that there are writings that refer to giants that once lived upon the earth all over but it was still difficult to believe until october 13 1916 the seattle star reported the residents in northern pennsylvania had uncovered an indian burial mound containing the bones of 68 men according to the article the average height of the assembled skeletons was seven feet while many were taller Further evidence of their gigantic size was found in their large stone axes placed in the grave. The Pennsylvania skeletons are anything but an anomaly. A half a century earlier, workers constructing a bridge in upstate West Virginia were dumbfounded when they dug up three giant skeletons containing strands of reddish hair. A local doctor was called to examine the colossal remains, to which he concluded had to be no shorter than eight feet tall and definitely human. Yep. So there will be more. If you are interested, I will put the link below. I don't know if this is actually a skeleton that was dug up or just a picture of the skeleton. Okay, so back to what I was talking about. I'm on the College of the Page. And we're looking at the radar, which is going right through the Appalachian Mountains. From Wisconsin <laughs> down into South Carolina. Uh, so they're on an adventure of weather. And some of this looks strange. Also, which, you know, how the weather is, it's actually not natural anymore. Oh, did I say that? I am curious about some of this formation down here, so I'm going to tune into it. Um, let's see. My little helper here has questions to ask. Don't you? Oh, you can't nod your head. They can't see you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no! It wouldn't let me run. I did this whole weird thing with my computer last night when I was very tired and now I have to put everything on it again <coughs> but look at how this is coming up it's like it's just kind of coming out of nowhere is what it seems like to me what is that it's like and it's like something's dropping that's the radar um, let's look at, <laughs> let's look at this a minute. Okay, so here is the loop on the storm velocity. Doesn't it look pretty? Look at how all this looks here. It's very unusual. Looks like fireworks. And people I know are driving through there and probably somebody has people they know driving through that which looks yeah, like fireworks like fireworks yes okay now this is jacked up i'm looking at the infrared satellite for the northern hemisphere i'm gonna slow this down a little this is the date 24th of march 2018 <coughs> okay this whole side is being messed with. <coughs> because of that flashing. 
There's something going on. I don't know what it is, but there is something going on. <coughs> I'm sorry, I've had this cold for like two weeks. And I'm on vacation, so at least I get to rest here. <coughs> but I want you to notice something else. I'm going to pause it for a minute. I want you to notice the cloud formation right in here. That looks like a... Um, uh, look at that. It looks like a geometric shape. And then over here, these look like they're forming wings. And this comes up and looks like it's making a... <coughs> I don't know. Phallus, perhaps? Let's get closer here. And I think I might speed it up a little for your entertainment. Okay, so I coughed and got something to drink and then restarted this. But look at this pattern here. This is in uh, Western um, United States of Canada. And then this comes up into something here that will make an interesting shape, you'll see. This thing coming up here. Look at this. This whole thing comes in. But it's just that unusual geometric shape to show up in clouds. This is where the storm is that I was talking to you about where um, my grandson and his friends are driving through. So let's start this. Okay, and then you can see these wing forming here. Shape. These pieces make this wing. This comes up and meets that. This also comes up pretty intensely like like ghosts coming to visit you. <laughs> Woo! Some people don't like it when I personalize the uh, clouds, but I think it's kind of cool myself. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. Okay, I just added some color to it, but actually, it makes it sort of harder to see, which is weird to me. Let's unzoom it. Take can't see it quite as well. That shape right there. This is still College of DuPage, and this is Southeast Atlantic Visible Satellite. It gets dark toward the end when I tur will turn it on, but you can see these lines of energy that are being injected into the atmosphere. And if you keep watching, you will see them a lot. Let's go. Wait, let's look at the timestamp on here so we can see this. March 24th, 2018. Look at that. It's actually horrific, this experimentation going on with the weather. Okay, let's go. And there we go. Start it over. And I know you can see it as well as I can. Go a little at a time. Okay. So there's plans for them to go here to Myrtle Beach. And not just hang out here, but they like the park. And so. I'm sure they're also going to try to find some spots like this that aren't packed with people, but where you can actually see just some things different than like up here farther on the beach line. And you know, sometimes I think it's a shame that this gets built so close to the beach like that. There's something wonderful about the beach. So here we are on uh, uh, National Weather Service. Let's look at the radar one more time. <laughs> uh, that's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> and paintings found in Tennessee in the caves. Look at the depth in that. Wow. Amazing.
adventure. Bye-bye.